64 things you didn't know about Minecraft. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, here we go. In Minecraft, if you spawn a cat in a witch hut, it will spawn as a black cat 100% of the time, which is a nice attention to detail. If the player moves far enough away from a shulker box, then it will actually turn invisible and become unrendered. This is because the shulker box in Minecraft is still considered to be a mob like a regular shulker. The rarest possible item you can fish in vanilla Minecraft is a stack of 10 ink sacks, which has a 1 in 1000 chance of occurring when fishing. Now that is very rare. Let me know if you've ever caught them. This is the first ever screenshot for glass in Minecraft, and I have to say it looks drastically different and not in a good way. I mean, just look at it, man. Would you use that as your window? I mean, you might do. Anyways, moving on. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there is an exclusive feature where potions will work on armor stands. That's right, if I want to make this armor stand invisible, then I can. I mean, just, just look at it. Well, you can't actually see it, but, but yeah. Oh, and if I want to poison the armor stand, then I can as well. <laughs> Bit cringe, Anthony. Move on before they click off, mate. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, fences used to have the hitbox of a full block, which made them really annoying to walk around. Around. This might as well just be a wooden plank to be honest, I mean what's the point? If you happen to have a full stack of hay bales in Minecraft, then you are actually able to craft 192 loaves of bread. Now that is a lot of bread. I want some toast now. If you look closely at the librarian villager in Minecraft, you'll notice that their hat is, well, a book. Now I know this book hat might be obvious to some players, but it might blow the minds of other players, including me. For for some reason, hay bales in Minecraft are not able to catch fire by lava, which is one of the many things in the game that makes no sense at all. So we all know that you can obtain a bell by simply finding one in a village structure. But did you guys also know that there is a 1.5% chance for a bell to generate in a ruined portal chest? Oh great, just another location for your friend to find this stupid bell to annoy you with. Falling anvils in Minecraft are are able to destroy items if it lands on them. So, just to annoy you guys, here are some diamonds being destroyed by an anvil. I'm sorry guys, I was only joking, I, j I just wanted to do a funny clip, please don't click off. As of the Minecraft 1.18 update, Deep Slate Coal Ore has now taken the title of being the rarest ore in the overworld. This is because coal ore only generates at Y levels 0 and above. This means only a small percentage of coal ore will be the deep slate variant as deep slate doesn't start generating until Y levels 7 and below. I hope that made sense. Basically, there's hardly any areas for deep slate coal ore to generate. If you look closely at the enchanting table in Minecraft, you'll notice that it is exactly halfway between a half slab and a full block in size. Well, I can't unsee that now. In Minecraft, if you surround yourself with azalea bushes like so, then mobs such as zombies for example, won't be able to jump over and attack you, which is rather strange. This pretty much means you can use azalea bushes to make your Minecraft base completely mob-proof from zombies, which is really cool actually. Since the addition of mineshaft structures in 2011, they've always generated with this weird mysterious room where the entire floor was made out of dirt. However, as of the Minecraft 1.18 update, it has been confirmed in the changelog that this weird mineshaft dirt room has been removed from the game. Rest in peace, strange looking dirt room, you will be missed! When cows were first added into Minecraft Alpha in 2010, they looked slightly different. As you can see, the cows in Minecraft Alpha have no horns on their head and have black and white spots. However, in Minecraft today, cows of course have the horns on their head and have brown and white spots instead. In Minecraft, it is actually possible to craft diorite, granite, and andesite. Diorite is crafted by using two cobblestone and two nether quartz. Granite is crafted by using one diorite and one nether quartz. Then finally, andesite is 
crafted by using one diorite and one cobblestone. Anyways, enough about crafting, let's move on. In Minecraft, there is a very nice attention to detail when it comes to leaves. So if you look closely at the leaves when it is raining, you'll notice that the rainwater passes through the leaves, which is really cool. If a block in Minecraft has at least two to seven snow layers on top of it, then mobs are not able to spawn on that block at all. So yeah, snow is quite a useful way to make an area in your Minecraft world completely mob proof. Hostile mobs are not able to walk across minecart rails, which makes them really useful as a protective barrier for your base. Just look at these zombies, they want to kill me so badly, but they can't. Using tools for things where they're not meant to be used will do double the durability damage to said tool. An example is using a pickaxe to kill a mob. So if I hit this zombie with an iron pickaxe, it will lose two durability points each time I hit it. Whereas if I use the pickaxe on what it's meant to be used on, like stone for example, it will only use one durability. When potions were first added into Minecraft in version beta 1.9 in 2011, they were originally brewed and created by using cauldrons. However, this potion making system was seen as too complex and not user friendly and a change was made to where potions would instead be brewed with a brewing stand and that's how it remains today. When you destroy a cauldron in Minecraft, you will notice that the broken particles are this weird sort of blue colour instead of being the same colour as the cauldron itself. Very strange indeed. Anyways, moving on. An armour stand wearing boots with the Frostwalker enchantment on them will actually work as intended if pushed across the water by using a piston. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that looks really funny. Walking to the edge of a super flat Minecraft world would take a total of 821 hours. So, um, yeah, you're going to need a lot of motivation to do that walk, but I believe in you. In Minecraft, the day and night cycle will last exactly 20 minutes upon creating the world. Since there's only 20 minutes in a single Minecraft day, this means time in Minecraft is exactly 72 times faster than a single day in real life. End crystals can be destroyed in the end by using snowballs. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, a glitch existed in the alpha phase of the game where you could create a triple chest. To do this, just simply place a double chest on water or snow and then place a third chest next to it. This for some reason creates some glitched out looking triple chest and even the chest interface looks all messed up but yeah it's still a very cool glitch nonetheless. In Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 5 which was released in October 2011 a bug existed where the player was able to create an infinite lava source. To create it all you had to do was dig out a plus shape like so, place four lava lava sources all leading to the middle section and there you go you can collect infinite amounts of lava from the middle. In Minecraft if you die and lose your items or drop your items on the floor the time in which they will despawn is exactly 6,000 in-game ticks or in other words 5 minutes so you better be quick. The drowned mob is an underwater variant of the zombie that sometimes annoyingly throws tridents at you and I hate them. But did you guys know that the drowned actually had an early design before they were officially added in the aquatic update and they looked like this. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft in version alpha 1.0.17 the player would for some reason start with 64 fences in their inventory upon creating the world. I guess that version of Minecraft was just being very generous to the player. Slime blocks and honey blocks are the only blocks in Minecraft survival that can be broken instantly with your hand. If the player is fishing in an area that doesn't have access to the sky then and the wait time for catching a fish is doubled. Right, okay, why didn't someone tell me this sooner? I've been waiting to catch this fish for absolutely ages. The maximum distance the player can get between the fishing rod bobber and themselves is 33 blocks. Any further than that and the bobber and the fishing line just disappears. If an anvil falls from a height of 20 blocks or more and lands on the player, then it will instantly kill them. However, if you are wearing a helmet when the anvil falls on your head, then it reduces the damage by a quarter, which means you will be left on two and a half hearts of health. The super flat world type option was technically the first world type we ever got in Minecraft as the first ever version released in 2009 was a completely flat world with a bunch of, well, 
crazy looking Steves. All right, I'm going to be honest. I wish the player would still flap their arms around like this. It, it just looks so funny. As of the time of me making this video, there are a total of 26 paintings in Minecraft. Not including the unused mobs or the baby variant of the mobs, there are over 70 unique mobs in Minecraft. In Minecraft, TNT, when activated, can fall up to a total of 72 blocks before exploding. Placing an anvil on top of activated TNT will cause the TNT to not inflict any explosion damage to the surrounding terrain. A duplication glitch used to exist in single player Minecraft where you could simply throw your items on the ground and just as you pick the items back up you would save and quit to the title screen. When you loaded back into the world you would find your items back on the ground but also in your inventory thus causing them to duplicate. Does anyone here remember this glitch? Let me know in the comments below. Rabbits used to be pretty big. Here are rabbits now looking very small and cute and here they are when they were first added. Absolutely huge and still cute. In Minecraft, rain is able to fall one block into the void at layer minus one. This can be seen by flying in spectator or creative mode in the void. If you ride in a boat and fall from a high place and hit the ground, you won't take any fall damage no matter how high the fall was. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, however, falling from a height while sitting in a boat will cause the boat to survive, which is great. But not the player. The player will just die. Pink sheep are very rare mobs which can naturally spawn in Minecraft as there is only a 0.164% chance of said pink sheep spawning as a replacement for a normal sheep. But if you thought that was rare, things get even rarer. That's right, in Minecraft there is a 0.0082% chance of a baby pink sheep spawning. Now that is rare. If you find that mob then you are extremely lucky. The Annoying Silverfish was first added into Minecraft in version beta 1.8, but they didn't have their own sounds yet, which meant they used the sounds for spiders as a placeholder, which was rather strange. Skeletons have a 5% chance to spawn with a bow in their left hand, whereas 95% of the time it spawns in their right hand. When the axe was first added into Minecraft in version in-dev in 2009, the axe's texture used to be double-sided, looking like this. However, this this didn't last too long and the axis texture quickly changed to only have one side which is how it looks today. The only seed number Minecraft doesn't let you use in the seed generator is the number zero. Trying to generate a seed using the number zero will just generate a random number seed whereas if I use the number one seed for example it generates a world using the seed number one. Very interesting. During the development for the 1.9 combat update an item called the quiver was planned to be added and it looked like this. Now the quiver was intended to be used as an easier way to hold your arrows in Minecraft but this idea was abandoned. When villagers were first added in the Minecraft beta 1.9 update in 2011 a strange file could be found in the game files. Now that file was this weird Steve and villager hybrid looking skin which looked like this. Now I'm going to assume Mojang maybe used the Steve skin as a preset to design the villager mob but let's just move on because the villager Steve looks really creepy and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Moving on. And finally, if you place a firework rocket next to a ladder, then you will actually hear the ladder climbing sound. Take a listen. 